With fitting ceremony, the Duchess of Kent reads to the representatives of Ghana in Parliament assembled the Queen's message of freedom. She tells them of the Queen's pride that today a new member of the Commonwealth is born. She gives them the Queen's congratulations and the Queen's best wishes. I have it in command from the Queen to read to you the following message from Her Majesty to the people in Ghana. I have entrusted to my heart the duty of opening on my behalf the first session of the Parliament of Ghana. My thoughts are with you on this great day as we take up the full responsibilities of independent nationhood. It is my earnest and confident belief that my people in Ghana will go forward in freedom and justice, in unity among themselves, and in brotherhood with all the peoples of the Commonwealth. God bless you all. Elizabeth R. The Prime Minister goes to the throne and receives the Queen's message. Now onward, these will be the proceedings of a sovereign parliament. The proposal is the first one. Mr. Prime Minister, Your Excellencies, my lords, non and non, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the toast of Her Royal Highness, the Duchess of Kent. People knows how to withdraw without bloodshed, without too much delay. I count it a privilege to have been asked by the Queen to take her part in a moment of such significance in the long and colorful victory, not only of Ghana, but of the African continent as a whole. I offer my warmest good wishes for the future happiness of Ghana. May God bless and guide your endeavors. 